Okay, this is Bob, 60 degrees below zero for 60degreev6.com. Shooting a video on the final version of the Frank Injector Fuel Injector Homemade EFI Cleaning Machine. I have my computer power supply feeding 12 volts at 5 amps into the two the dual OTCs, one line handling the three on the left bank and one line from the other OTC handling the three injectors on the right side. Fire extinguisher available. Let's do a walk around here. I haven't opened the pressure yet. I'm going to gradually open the pressure here. This will be the first time coming up a little at a time and I'm looking at the rail and the injectors for leaks. I'm up to about 15 PSI right now. I just want to come up a little at a time in case I have a spring of leak here and I can turn, I can just shut it down. So far so good. I'm going to bring it up to 30 PSI and look things over. No leaks on the hoses yet. This is a kind of a complete redesign. I decided to do a tray that's made out of uh, sort of a, a mesh type material that I could uh, put in with large plastic ties. By the way, <clears throat> the next, if I do any more of these, I'll be building them out of this lighter gauge galvanized steel angle iron. And uh, it's cheaper probably than trying to run around finding bed frames. It may not be as sturdy when you build the, the basic framework on it, so it might have to need, it might need some other reinforcement. But anyway, so the rail is held on here with two plastic ties. I'll come around the back side so you can see them. And um, I shaped the corners so that I, I radius all the corners on metal when I'm working with it because you get in here, you're working close, and you move your arm too quick, you can cut yourself pretty bad on this stuff. On the uh, back side, I have the down drains coming in, one single pipe into the main drain, and then down to the deck um, alongside of the frame into the drain container. And everything is looking good so far. Let me bring it up to spec, which, as you know, is... 45, correction, 43.5 PSI, and that's about where we are right now. Note that this is pretty good with the air pressure. I didn't really think when I started to build it that it was going to be so precise, but there it is. So this is a little bit more elegant and straightforward. Probably we'll be able to see the fluid coming out a little bit better. Okay, let's pull up my chair here, grab the OTCs and see if I can um, fire this thing off and see how it works. Now it looks like I'm not getting any power on the right side. Oh, here we go. Oh wow. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me get in a little tighter on the shot. Sorry about that. It's hard to not have a cameraman. Alright, let's fire them both at the same time. Uh, I guess I should set them on the same setting here. I had one on one pulse at 500 milliseconds. That was what the problem was. The other set at 100 pulses. Let's do 50 pulses at 10 milliseconds for both banks and let's see how it behaves. Sweet. Very nice. Okay, the rail's holding. I don't see any leaks. It looks like my brazing was okay. I have to admit that uh, Robert's idea that simplicity is best really is the truth. It took me a long time to get to this point, but these are working very nice. Now, you notice on the tray that I, I have a kind of a duct tape in there made out of cardboard that I can pull out and change if it gets kind of gummy and whatnot. And um, 
it's easy to take these tubes off here now you'll notice that I don't have any of the clamps on here there really isn't any reason for it because they're not under compression and I thought well what the hell am I setting it up now and now that I have the down rail supported there really isn't any need to put the clamps on there which once again makes it easier to get the fuel injectors on and off the rail and uh, these are going real good not only that I'm noticing that the fluid is much uh, much stronger so maybe all the convolutions inside the GM rail are obstructive to the uh, process. I'm switching now to 100 pulses at 5 milliseconds. Of course, every swinging dick in the world is coming home from work, so I can't get a quiet moment here so you can hear what's going on, but let's get a close-up of that. Pretty good. Pressure dropped a little bit. Let me raise it up just a touch. We're back to 43.5 uh, PSI. And so, the final version of Frank here is looking pretty good. Okay. Switch it once again. I have kind of a thick mixture of clean fluid in here. I'm going to try a, a lighter version of almost pure Tecron, Chevron Tecron, and see how it goes. Well, that's it for the Frank injector. I appreciate everybody's help on uh, making suggestions and kicking me in the ass once in a while. And uh, this is Bob, 60 degrees below zero for 60degreev6.com. See ya.